It looks like Captain America 4 will be breaking quite a few new grounds when it comes to introduction of important elements to the future of the MCU. Not only is the leader returning, the Red Hulk reportedly showing up along with some members of the Thunderbolts, also a major setup to Wolverine with Adamantium will be at its central focus. Sam Wilson Captain America having connections to mutants isn't too far out of the norm so far. We've already seen him go to Madripoor, which of course is a major safe haven and a pirate safe haven at that for mutants. And now it looks like the mutant connection is about to get even bigger. So essentially what we're hearing is that Adamantium will first appear and be mentioned by name in Captain America New World Order. Essentially, one of the major factors of what's going on around the world with uh, more or less, well, I guess far less vibranium in the world now and them not going to war with Wakanda or wanting to provoke this new foe, aka Namor, they find out that Adamantium now is this major gold mine and resource that's on unclaimed land, which is the Eternal that's stuck in the ocean. And allegedly, this is going to be one of the uh, major factors in the struggle for power, aka the New World Order. And everybody is fighting for this because if they can utilize it, they can start working on new weapons and experiments. AKA things like Wolverine, for example. Once you have Adamantium, you can infuse somebody with it. You can also use it for various other things like Lady Deathstrike. And hey, also a character like, for example, Bullseye can also have it in his bones. So again, there's a lot going on here that seems to be, again, important, and it's all stemming from a Captain America film. And I honestly think that that's kind of genius here to kind of put Captain America, who's a human, no superpowers, in the middle of all these now warring factions across Earth trying to find the next best resource. And it just so happens to be connected deeply to another giant event that's recently happened and allegedly what we're going to learn is that adamantium is way more versatile than vibranium now again how versatile i guess we're gonna have to wait and see but i won't be surprised if they really make it something more than the comics and start utilizing it way more and i won't be surprised if quite a few of these uh powers slash countries are all trying to go for it as hard as possible and that's really going to make captain america kind of a you know, an espionage film again, on top of that, having to deal with Hulk and the leader who's probably also after it. And of course, Red Hulk will be because he's part of the Thunderbolts. This is all sounding pretty incredible. And like Captain America is going to have a lot on his plate and definitely be one of the more important films in the future. <laughs> 